Hello, Jamal of here, and welcome to another run of Battle Brothers. Uh, another, if you have watched the uh, Sun Bros run that is already already on my YouTube, and uh, we'll be playing. We'll be playing with the new company setting. I haven't really stepped into these uh, different different starting things. Like uh, I tried just the I like just the basic basic new company starts. And uh, I think for this I will choose the Nobles at War as our uh, first late game crisis, if we get that far. And, uh, oh jeez, I wasn't thinking about, uh, thinking about the company name. I don't remember if I can edit this, edit this later. Uh, we were Sun Bros, Sun Bros last time. Uh, let's see what we have. It's kind of like let like this one. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's old timers is actually pretty good. Let's go with that. Cause we are we are old. At least I am. Let's go with that. Uh, I'll be playing with uh, with the harder difficulties. Uh, the starting funds I was thinking about that uh, if I go with high, we'll have a little bit of faster start. But I will at least try. I will at least try with uh, low settings, and uh, I won't be playing uh, in-game Iron Man. But as as always, I play with well, play with honest Iron Man, so we don't reload if someone dies. But since I'm new to the game, you know, I'm not new to the game. I have played like 150 hours or something, but there's a I have maybe experienced 20% of the game. So there are things that I might want to like. Hey, I don't know. I don't know if we can handle this camp or whatever, and I can save and try, kind of uh, just to just to learn the game a little bit more. That's probably the best way to put it, and probably the one thing I want to I want from this run to uh, let's say relearn this game. I haven't played it in three years, and uh, just get just get better at the game uh, than I was. Uh, let me put that command in because uh, for the seed, also write it down for myself. Just in case someone wants to do it self, so K E U N W L X E Z X K E U N. That was random, randomly drawn by the game. K E U N V L X E Z. Should be, should be okay now. Okay, why didn't you work? Stream elements, please. Ah, huh, because it was not on. <laughs> it was all my fault. <laughs> uh, always, always blame someone else when it was my own mistake. Anyway, let's uh, let's begin. I'm uh, using some quality of life mods. They are all all listed in the. Oh, the link is in the video description if you are watching on YouTube and uh, for those in the chat if you are interested there's exclamation mods command that list that goes to a Google Doc spreadsheet that links links all the mods I am using but more or less just quality of life making making the game faster uh, showing some information that uh, game doesn't otherwise show that you would have to go into a wiki to look and things like that okay um, Old timers. So, for example, we have uh, up to up to eight speed if we if we want to go like super super fast. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Uh, okay, that's an interesting starting position. <laughs> we, we are locked locked on the locked on the left hand side to this one place uh, before we take a boat. But after that, it's actually pretty good because we, we, I think we. How is no? How how is there no harbor in that place? I have no idea. Also, is that music music a little bit loud? Uh, maybe it's maybe it's okay. I will take it down just a little, just a notch. 
Just a little. Okay, uh, other interesting things about this map is that this uh, this one one noble house is relatively small. If we would like to raid one of the noble houses, it would be the blue and uh, blue and white for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about this map because we kind of we more or less have to have to jump to the other side right away. Uh, there is a road here which probably leads around like this, but that's already taking a long time in the beginning. Mm. Yeah, let's uh, let's see, let's see how this goes. I will check the check the pros there in just a moment. Let's go and uh, go into the first uh, first town and uh, hire some hire some and set all of them up at the same time. Okay, we have some contracts here, but let's uh, check what we have. So, uh, we have Thief, 230, they have a Decker, that's probably something I want. The Fishermen are decent. Uh, Taylor. Also, with, uh, with the mods, mods, we actually have the attribute ranges showing there that they will be rolling. So, for example, Thief can make really good tanks. Because they can roll, roll really high on their defense. Uh, we probably want one monk in the company just for those good events. So this is looking like okay start. And we have a day tailor. Let's get the monk. Let's get the thief. And I think I will take that fisherman. They also have a dagger and they come with the weapon. So. Let's get them as well. Maybe six. Six for starters. I might get this tailor as well. Uh, just to have a seventh guy. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see those six first. Let's also see what, uh, what do they have for sale here. At least we can buy some daggers. We can buy, buy a spear. They do have some... Uh, some shields for sale. Um, kind of expensive everything. Expensive everything here. Okay. But yeah, let's uh, let's check the bros first, and uh, let's uh, let's get uh, them all naked first, so we can uh, we can then redistribute the little gear we have. So these these three here are the starting bros. They, uh, there's always always three different kinds. One like one is a uh, one is a ranged guy. One is like um, um, average average guy with high hit points, and then uh, and then we have one with two stars on the melee skill. Uh, if you are new to the game, I guess I should have said this in the beginning. Uh, Battle Brothers is a game where you run a mercenary company, and you just level up your bros, get them, get them skills, uh, called perks. Try to build as good company as possible, and just uh, there are some end game goals, end game goals far, far down the line. But just uh, trying to keep the company alive is a great, great challenge in the in the beginning. So let's see these starting pros first. We have this guy who is. Uh, it's funny we we called ourselves old timers, and this. Uh, this uh, archer guy is called Edmund the Older. Uh, they started with uh, Determined. Determined, which is good. This guy starts with... Uh, okay, they are eating a lot, but they are shift. Okay, these guys like to eat, both of them. Oh, that's kind of... That's not, uh, not really optimal. But yeah, this is the... Let's call this starter starter ranged, so I remember who they are. Uh, this guy is the starter starter melee guy, and then this is the starter starter HP guy. Let's call them. Uh, let's call them. This this guy's a little bit worse than the others. So I'll just call them starter melee minus. But uh, let's check the new new pros here. So this was the monk. Uh, no stars here. They have a good resolve. But uh, this monk will 
Honk will probably just be just be around, uses a little bit of a fodder maybe. We'll check those stats. I do have the spreadsheet where I can uh, check things. Check things around a little bit. Uh, 46. They have a they have a really good resolve. Uh, but yeah, those uh, not getting stars into really important stuff kind of sucks. So two stars, three stars, two stars. Uh, yeah, this guy this guy's not gonna be not gonna be much of a use. Much of a use. Let's see about this guy. Uh, shift. Uh, seven melee defense. Not bad, but no stars there, sadly. So this was the T3. T3 started it. Let's see. 50 hit points. 92. 92 fatigue. Kind of low. Two stars there. Resolve 36 is kind of low, but they have three stars in it. 55, one star. Uh, yeah, they will probably try to try to keep a shield up. Try to keep a shield up a little bit, but uh, not not much. Forty ranged, seven. Yeah, they can uh, they can try to do try to do something if we roll well. Uh, so these. Uh, uh, what I'm using using as my spreadsheet, this is Sins Battle Brothers Guides. I think you can find it find it if you just uh, just look for it. And it has builds with certain names, so I will call this guy uh, Dodge Dodge Quick Hands, but uh, it's not very good, so I'll put minuses in there. Then we have this guy. We do have a star in defense, but that's about it. So the even the fisherman fisherman kind of sucks. And this is also one of the aspects when you, when you or in this case I play the game a little bit longer, uh, you'll start to start to get a feel for the different stats better. Um, right now, like I, I don't have that, so I I need to, need to use the spreadsheet a little bit. It's only got one stars in everything, so yeah, not not really not really good good guy. So these guys are you can you can call them fodder fodder you can call them circlings whatever. But uh, so they are basically there to if they die then they die kind of thing. So this guy's a monk zerk. Uh, these guys, these guys will keep. Okay, I will not throw any brother away at this stage. Like any anyone who who can, go, who can hold a weapon can work for us. Um, so let's see. This guy is the ranged guy, so they will get this stuff. Uh, they will be. They will be in the back, so they don't necessarily need. Um, Need anything else? Let's put these guys in the front. Uh, this guy does have five, five in defense and a star. So they are among my best guys. So let's give them uh, those ones. Maybe, maybe they can they can take that for starters. Let's see anyone who can hit already. Okay, this guy can hit a little bit, so uh, they are not that great, but uh, let's give them um, let's give them that. Let's give them some hats, and then from these guys, this guy's someone we even try a little bit to keep alive. So let's give them that, and uh, we need we need shields. Need shields badly. Yeah, those guys can uh, can work with those a little bit. We can take the racks. We can take that one. Let's give. Let's give you the net if we run into something where we can use it. So 
four shields would be well three shields would be would be ideal but i don't think the place even had that many we'll name those guys in just a moment uh we have one shield A spear would be alright in the beginning, better than those daggers, so they can actually hit something. Mm. I think I'll buy that one so that we at least have someone, let's say two guys with shields. I'll buy that, uh, buy that spear that we can repair into use. This better dagger would not be bad investment, I think. Or this padded leather, this could make someone survive a little bit longer. Let's go with those. Let's see if we have a contract. Uh, so with one of the mods, it's highlighting some key words here, because this is just like looks like wall of text here so we immediately see that this is a mission we want because we uh it asks us to go uh and we will just accept offer uh, if you hackle here that will uh, decrease the relations with uh, or at least make the relations gain uh less than it would be if you just take it uh, follow the tracks is the kind of mission we want so we will accept this Accept this, and we will follow those tracks. Tracks right there, but let's uh, let's name the pros. So let's get uh, let's get let's get four names, four names from here. So Mr. Tommaso, Sissy, uh, ASF. And Mahdi Mogari, and then I'll take a couple of the names from the from the random list. So, uh, which was the order? Our monk is Mr. Tommaso. Mr. Tommaso, and this is Sissy. Don't get a chat attached to your pros. <laughs> these guys, these guys will die. Uh, ASF. And uh, Martin Mogari. Then. That list from there, some old timers. Random. Random list. Randomize that. Nice. Oh. Bim. So. This one here is Severin McCoy. Not Makari McCoy. And our ranged guy is Sixy. Okay. Let's try not to die in the first first fight right away. Seven thieves. Alright, let's equip this stuff. Uh, let's you take that one. This guy can hit a little bit. Yeah, 51. Maybe you can actually hit a little bit with uh, with that one and keep, uh, keep that one. And uh, we'll keep the shields. Shields to the edge, guys. Edge, guys, and table just try to stay alive. Uh, 18 defense and 19 defense. Uh, this guy actually rolled a really good on the on the defense, but uh, when we get more shields, we'll uh, we'll worry about that. Okay. The the first. First, follow the tracks mission if you find one. I think it's always seven, seven thugs. So let's see, let's see what we see. Okay, well, a couple of flails. Those are quite dangerous. The sword is kind of bad. 
Uh, I think three guys with bucklers. And we don't want to mess with this guy either. Uh, they will be coming fast because we have a ranged guy. So... What I think I will do, let me remind myself of the controls. Uh, if I pause here, which is to wait. Uh, which is to wait, then we'll move in this queue uh, a little bit lower, basically give up our initiative. And uh, I think I will be moving backwards. Backwards here. Um, just taking shots with my crossbow guy as we go. But I will wait first. Basically let them come forward. And then we might do shields, wall, shield walls and such later. Okay. We could step in and get, get a hit in already. The returns are done. Hmm. Maybe I'll use my crossbow guy, guy a little bit more and uh, maybe we can step to this one so they'll get range bonus. So let's go... Let's go back to... Okay, they are coming, coming a little bit to the bottom side here. So we might change our positions a little bit. Okay, then let's take a shot. Uh, these flail guys can uh, really, really butcher us if they hit uh, helmetless guys. But I think, uh, I think this guy is dangerous as well. But I will try to shoot the guys who don't have helmets first. 65% uh, chance to hit. Really nice. Uh, we should be able to... No, we can, uh, we can do that Do that next turn. Next turn, so let's end the turn there. Just kind of reminding myself of the mechanics here. Uh, it has, it has been a while. Uh, these guys could do spear walls. Maybe I should have given the spears to the edges, I don't know. Okay. Because we waited on the last turn, our initiative is uh, lower on this turn as well, so they, they might engage with us this turn. But they can't get a hit in. They can't get a hit in this turn, so I think I will continue to wait. Let's see what they do. I'm just gonna engage fully. Uh, let's reload. If I step in here, that would be... I can't shoot after that. Hmm. I think I want to stand there. Stand there and take shots. If I go here, they would be getting hits on us. Maybe I'll make the line. Hmm. So let's get the shots next turn. If uh, if none of them engages with us, this guy's jumping in. This guy's jumping in. Let's put 
to shield up this turn already continue waiting. That's good. I would like this guy to hit. It's quite hard, so they could come from this side. Step in for those. It's next turn. So one, two, three. Just stay there protecting. They can't touch you this turn. So you can wait. Do I want <clears throat> I don't want to spear ball you? Mm. Okay, they, they might jump. They might actually jump my guy here. Uh, I didn't notice they actually waited this turn. Okay, they didn't. That's good. Mm, okay, let's wait. They will come in and get hits on us next turn. So hopefully they most most of them go there. Uh, I think I will put the spear wall in just to the just to uh, encourage them to go for the shield guy. That was actually, that was actually kind of smart from that guy. jump in because they will be getting hits in, but at least they went for the shield one. Two tiles. I'll see what they do. Just keep our line here. Same thing with you. Okay. We can't shoot this guy because we'll hit our own guy. 69% to hit. Start shooting. Nice shots there. That's good. Reload. Wait there. So now the real real fight begins. Okay, they're trying to come around. I might engage. Yeah, this guy. This guy is going next. Let's put the shield wall up and uh, wait. Nice. 31% chance for that guy to hit. These guys... These guys will be stepping in. What we could do now is uh, engage them on this row. So we should go before them next turn. Okay, so I could step in and slap this guy already. I think I, I think I have to do it. Sixty-four, sixty-four missed. This is all good for me. This guy still has a shield wall up. Okay, I get to put a shield wall up with you. And uh, we have a, we have this guy engaged with two guys, well, so we'll get bonus. But I'll save the shield guy's fatigue here a little bit. But let's try to hit... Try to hit this guy. 87% really good. Nice. Good start there. Got some morale boost out of that as well. Uh, let's hit the... Let's hit the shield, this guy. 87 here as well. Couple of good hits. But now, now it's their turn to come and start hitting. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I was worried about. That's that's why we wanted the hits on them, but we didn't lose morale. Uh, quite the opposite. So even that we did get damage. Uh, what was the hotkey for this one? Alt. 
So the blue bars are head armor, normal armor and hit points. And we uh, we just got slapped really hard. Uh, we did get um, did get some uh, injury because we lost more than half hit points in one one hit. So that guy might have a permanent injury there. I think we have a good chance of killing this guy. The little white flag there uh, means that at the moment they are wavering. Uh, morale is really important in this uh, in this game. So if I kill one of them, that might get others others lower morale on their side, and uh, that will make them less uh, hitless and be easier to hit by us. So let's try to get kills here. So there we go. we saw the panic effects. It uh, got uh, three of them wavering, and uh, if that goes low enough, their morale, then uh, they can actually panic and start uh, start fleeing. So uh, it's looking pretty good for us, but let's let's see how how their attacks go. Nice blocks there. Sadly, the other one hit the head with 36 percenter. Ah, oh, that's. 21% chance to hit with the flail and they do hit and immediately almost kill my guy. <laughs> Man, this uh, this early game is so brutal. Like, shield up 21% and uh, we still almost got one shot. Okay. That might make this guy, because they are already breaking. Uh, sadly, we can't engage with anyone else. So, we just have to have to stay here and take a, take a hit. Ah, okay, we just lost the ear. Well, it didn't even lost the, lose the ear, just ripped ear. So we are fine. Okay. Uh, ideally, I would kill this guy. This guy, but I kind of want to keep that shield up as well. Hmm. This guy was not particularly fast. So I think I will go for a couple of stabs here. There are only 56 percenters, but if we kill this guy... It could really help. So yeah, let's go for the hits. Uh, we do have the shield up. A wind pipe was crushed. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the flails are flails are nasty. And we did have the shield like shield wall and we still got hits. I will save their hit points for uh for the next turn. Okay, we are going before them, so that gives us a chance to raise the shield. Uh, potentially hit some of them. Let's see. Uh, 78 even against the buckler. So let's hit them a couple of times. That's very good, they are breaking. Not, not running away yet, but these guys don't have shields. So uh, we'll get slapped here if they decide to hit some, someone else than the ones with... Uh, once with the shield, let's try to kill this one. 87% miss, but uh, we have a panic there of fleeing and fleeing here. So really good for us. Uh, this guy is not breaking at all yet, but uh, a couple of them are fleeing. So we have a good spot here. Uh, let's, let's wait with you. Uh, this guy will put the shield up. Hopefully dodge a shot from that guy that is coming in just a moment. Ooh, luckily the other one missed. Miss. Miss. Yeah, baby. There we go. Okay, let's try to break their will once and for all. Uh, by hitting that guy. There we go. Uh, all but two are panicking. Looking good. Looking really good. Unless this guy butchers us in the next turn that he's about to have. Ooh, okay. Still alive. Still alive. Job Severin. Uh, no permanent injuries. I would mind. Would be better if we didn't have the injuries at all, but it is what it is. I should have put a shield up for them, to be honest. Okay, this guy is a little bit dangerous. They also have a short. Uh, let's have let's have these low percentage hits on them. Okay, that's great. And because this guy is fleeing, uh, we'll get a free hit on them. And we can step in to slap this guy next turn. So it's looking pretty good. Uh, you'll just wait. Uh, 
I will not waste my attack on this guy because they are fleeing. Instead, I will step here and I will hit this guy and chop their head off. And that's game because they are all fleeing. Great fight. <laughs> no, we will run them down because we want the kills. Uh, let's see. I could run after this guy now. We have uh, several guys on this one, so yeah, let's go there. If you if you leave, leave the combat like when you are engaged, uh, they would get attack of opportunity. But because they are fleeing, uh, they are not. And the other way around, because they are fleeing, we are getting attacks of opportunity when they try to run away. So that's, uh, that's pretty good for us. Let's just wait with you there. Um, I will step here in the middle. And I will save my fatigue for the, for the attacks when they try to flee. Same thing here. I will jump on this guy instead. We will wait. And I will not use my ammo here. Uh, I don't think you had a weapon. Yeah, you, you can just wait. Uh, I will jump on this guy. Let's go there. Let's wait. And let's jump in there, so this guy has hard time, hard time fleeing us there. We missed that guy again. That guy gets hit once. That guy's dead. So this guy might get away. Let's go there. Uh, let's... Okay, let's not finish this guy. Wait with you. Uh, let's try to get... Yeah, let's just wait. And uh, we will have a chance to... For one more attack on this guy. If we do get a hit when they run away, we will get them. But uh, otherwise they escape. Uh, let's try to get a couple of hits on you. Now that the fatigue is already good. <laughs> Go, very nice. Okay, let's see what happens when this guy runs away. Will Will Sissy get uh, get the kill in the end? <laughs> Boom! They did. Nice. Good experience. Good first fight. No one died. We did have some cut leg muscles, a ripped ear, and a crushed windpipe. It, it sounds it sounds horrible, but uh, looks like they will recover from it. So Severing Makai was the closest one to dying, together with ASF. Uh, we did get one of the reinforced wooden flails, sadly only bucklers. On the other hand, if they had shields, they would have been harder to kill. So uh, that is that is something. Okay, let's get that stuff. That stuff and move on. Okay. While... While they are not great, we can we can give the bucklers bucklers here. I think you might get the flail. Cause this uh, this is decent against someone who doesn't have a head armor. And uh, if you two hand one handed weapon, it will do more damage. And then you can just uh, take the shield out if uh, if you need. And uh, if you ever need to attack someone, maybe you should take that one. And... Let's see... Right, I gave you the dagger. Okay, let's give you that one. That's one, and let's give that to you. Who has space? You do. Okay, great. Those boots are not really great because they last for such a long time and early on you just want to get fights fights in. Uh, so let's actually see the wounds. So uh, fatigue recovery. So they can still fight with this. They will just be more fatigued. The ripped ear doesn't matter. They can fight. And this is not great. Obviously. Uh, because they will be hit more easily. So, while they are one of the less important guys, um, what I think I will do is I will, I will put you here. 
put you here and uh, this guy can just uh, be in the middle, try to get them, get some steps in. Steps in if we can. 230 crowns, that is good. Let's see if we got some new recruits here. Uh, we could get this monk. They are not necessarily that great, but uh, I think this tailor might be our seventh guy. For now, let's see what this mission is. This would be looking for uh, a long way to the south. Uh, we are not gonna do that, so let's just decline that so it gets away. Uh, how much is the boat to Sandehaven? Sandehaven. Uh, okay, it's just 40. Okay, that's good. Mm. Barber, temple, tavern. The, the tailor there is cheap. Tailor there is cheap, but I think I will just take a boat over and let's go do some missions here and then maybe head head towards the middle part here i think this here let me see i didn't i didn't check it so this is a this is a village and this is a fortress so we can't do missions there yet before relations and so is that okay those are not that great then uh that's a village okay this area is not that great uh, we do have a village, village here. So kind of ideally, I would have like a quite quite close range to uh, to fight. So it looks like this is also dangerous with uh, with the woods here. A lot more ambush chances. So it looks like. Looks like we'll be checking these two places, then maybe go south here. Um, that's... Uh, yeah, we don't have that one. Later on we can go further up the north, but I think maybe here with the larger city, village village maybe this would be our area to do some questing in yeah i think this would be all right so i think the road there there is no road unless we go from here i think so we'll have to go through the wilderness there so let's check the missions here first and uh, see what we see what we get uh, actually, where is this Strande? 110. Okay, it's this one. Okay, yeah, let's let's go over. So these are the only harbor towns, sadly. Yeah, I think this should have a harbor. Like, definitely should have a harbor, but... I don't know why it doesn't. Not that we, not that we would go there right now, but... go over and let's hope they have uh, followed the tracks here as well. Let's see what they have. They have the Red Catcher, Caravan Hand, much more expensive tailor, and then one of these more expensive ones. Uh, like a bunch, okay. And we're probably not gonna get these guys. The Caravan Hand is a little bit too expensive right now. Let's see what we have. This wants to wants us to find the find the same place some way. We might take this one, so let's skip that. What is this? Uh, wait, this guy is telling me where the Vitold's defeat is, and then the, <laughs> and the other guys want us to find it. Um Obtain a staff of foresight at Whittle's defeat. 
Okay, did it actually mark it on some map? Um, I don't think it automatically maps us and then we get the get the thing some way, so it's probably here. We could do the find the place mission. Just to heal our guys, but I think Hmm. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a... Um, it would save us time if we just take a boat there. It's not, not really ideal. It would give us 200 and uh, some way southwest, somewhere around region of middle mark. Uh, just thinking... What? Is it actually somewhere in here? It's a southwest, right? Some way southwest region of middle mark. Why can't I see middle mark? Usually usually there's these region region names. But when we when we're looking at it here it's at the long way. Yeah, uh, don't really like that. And if we do the, if we do this one, hmm, these can be a little bit harder. I would like to have a fight here. Actually, I can I can go across here. I think. Yeah, I think I think it's around this region. What is expected rate of casualties? Like everyone, <laughs> unless unless you are good. If you are good at this game, you can keep everyone alive and uh, like playing playing in a smart way. But uh, as we saw in that fight, like 21% hits, and when they happen to connect something like that, they have a good weapon, they can take a one shot our bro, especially at this stage. Later on, you get some armor, and uh, things start to happen. Yeah, this was not, not really. I think what I will do. I think what I will do, I will go all the way in here. Skip this place, unless the harbor is how much is it? Okay, it's only eighty. Let's let's use eighty to go uh, go uh, down south and check the mission. So we went here, check the pool. Okay, this fisherman here. This guy has a dagger, one ninety. Uh, so basically, uh, the money money actually the higher price. Uh, so this is the daily wage. And uh, this is their hiring place, and you are always paying for their gear, basically. Uh, so sometimes you can get like a, a really good background, but with uh, not that great gear, and you might get them for really cheap. Um, let's see what we have here. I think I would get one of these one of these fishermen. I think we have extra daggers, so I could. Uh, uh, this guy has a hat as well that might save lives. We are only we are, we are paying eighty effectively for the straw hat if we get this guy. Uh, so I think I will save money and get this guy who has a lower wage. Uh, especially now, I, I could I could, would get I could get both. We have to keep an eye on our um, sixty-nine crowns per day wage. I think I will get both of these fishermen, actually. These, uh... Actually, let's get this guy. Let's get this guy, and let's get this guy, and we'll leave that. So then we'll have eight. Yeah. More... More fodder, if nothing else. So, let's see what these guys are made of. Uh, not... That great of a stats. We have stars, stars in ranged range skill, but the skill itself is low. 
How the hell do these uh, fishermen have a have a ranged ranged thing like that? Okay, these guys are not that great. This guy is bloodthirsty, which can be good. Hesitant is not that great. Okay, this guy is tough. That is that is okay. Mm. Just looking at these guys, like 56 A, 56 melee without stars. Uh, they do have a star in the melee, both of them. So they will probably help my help my guys in the end. But they let's see, let's come let's compare to this guy. They were 55 and a star. And these stars mean when we start leveling up, uh, just higher chance to get higher scores. So they go from one to three stars, and you have uh, free start abilities on every every one of them. Uh, okay, yeah, let's uh, let's do this guy. Let's give the guy at the edge a hat, so they might actually survive something. And uh, you will get the dagger and a net. You will get this guy's dagger. Okay. Let's go with that. At least everyone has a weapon, so that's uh, that's always a great thing. We can we can stab things and let's hope this is a follow attracts mission. Uh so look at it looks like CC is the one picking up all these missions. Uh, okay, this is a caravan one. If you take a caravan, you can't avoid the fight that's happening, and it might be might be really bad. Um, let's see, Kimenborg. E hmm. I might take this one because we are going there anyway. Oh, it's, it kind of takes us back, but on the other hand, this is the place the way we are going. Mm. As said, we can't control the fight, uh, we can't avoid the fight that is coming, and we will be fighting with caravan, caravan merchants on our side, but they are usually either bad or just suicidal. So, let's check this place. Uh, that's a pretty cheap shield, so I will take that. Uh, I don't remember how how valuable these things are. Well, if it's worth 260 and I can buy it for 271, that would tell me that somewhere I can sell it for more. Our wages at the moment are 85. Uh, we don't have that many tools, so at some point we do need to buy these as well to repair stuff. Javelins would be great. Just wonder, can I can I sell these for even a little bit higher somewhere else? Mm. Let's because I'm I'm I don't remember how this goes. So let's keep two seventy one in mind. So then one in mind, and let's see if I if I could. Well, actually, I can't check the sell price in the same way, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's have. Let's give you. Let's give you the second shield. Maybe you can be on kind of a flank man protector, protect archer guy. Ah, uh, uh, right, names. I will. I will take this. Uh, let's take the caravan. This might be a bad idea, but let's take it. Let's name. Um, let's name these two. So let's name one of them. One of them for Zixi. No wait, did I did I have one for six already? What am I? No, we had Mr. Tomas. Oh no, we did have six. Uh, so for for. That that's right. So for for yes, and this guy's a Zerg as well. 
So basically, circling in my terms means that some, just someone who can die. They will they will go and do their thing if they survive, great. Right? If not, not a big deal. Basically, everyone is a circling at this stage, but uh, some guys are just a tiny little bit better. So I'm calling them calling them something else. Okay, let's uh, let's pick from there. We have a pro HM joining joining in. Sounds with this guy. Also, also circling. Okay, but now, now we are um, riding on a caravan, and uh, we can't avoid the fights that will uh, that will happen. So let's see, let's see where the caravan gets us, and uh, also we run out of tools already. During the night, we'll probably get that bandit attack. Hopefully it doesn't have any raiders. If it just thugs, it's fine, but uh, we might be in trouble if we get attacked, that is. Uh, okay, uh, with these missions, when you get them done, you get some renown bonus. Uh, I will try to make a friends, make friends with one of the towns. So let's see how that goes. Looks like we might not be attacked at all. I think how the trading missions go is that once you, when you take them, uh, when you take them, that that party that will attack uh, will spawn, and something else can destroy it, like the patrolling guys, or it doesn't spawn at all. I think that's a random chance, especially with the lower ones. So that was a good start. The downside is this place is a fortress, so we can't get missions, but we can check the recruits. So uh, farmhand here uh, is a decent start. Uh, they don't have a pitchfork with them. Uh, apprentice. Uh, these are just beyond our beyond our monies at the moment. Just checking them, checking them anyway. Old Faker. Okay. Let's check the check the thing. Okay, tools are. About as cheap as they can be, so I will buy one here. But we need to start making money. We need to start making money. This would be a place to buy more shields, but... We can still survive for a couple of days. So those shields would help us survive a lot. I think I will buy one. Yeah, let's go with that. Gunsmith Kennel, Tavern, Armor. Uh, at least once you have visited the place, visited the place, you you see those buildings there, so we know that this place has a Weaponsmith Tavern, Armor, and now that we have visited it. Uh, for the place you haven't, you can guess, but you, you don't know exactly what, uh, what they have. And in this game, everything that's around the towns and villages affects what that place produces, what kind of recruits you get. So we have ore smelters here. Uh, this place, for example, ha has a uh, workshop. It has some uh, amber collectors, so we know that this place sells amber. And uh, I think this place had a, had one as well. Yep. And... Uh, they had fishing huts, so they have uh, they have fishermen. And uh, just an example, this place has a blast furnace that affects kind of what kind of things we have in here. Looks like something has been attacked and ruined, so we could go later on and help them with that. Okay, but now we need to do a little bit of a dangerous trip. Dangerous trip up north. Uh, well, not not north north, but in the middle because this would be our. Couple start him start Wester Wester Holtz could be our place for early missions. But maybe Let's see, that's a fortress as well. That's a hut. That's a village. Mm. Going going through this is a little slow. I think I will do it anyway. Let's um we have food. 
We have food, so let's go, but let's be let's be careful on what we what we see. I do have a mod where our travel pauses if we see a hostile group. Ooh. Later on this could be a crate, so um finding a camp is great. But finding something that we could attack would be even better. But we know there's camp here now. So we can later on come here, try to fight some uh, some raiders. But uh, we are not there yet. We, we want to fight, basically, ducks. Like this guy. Uh, actually, this pack has some raiders. They are beyond us for now. So I would ideally escape them. But... Um, Hmm. I wonder if they're gonna attack this caravan. This has some caravan cars in it. Like just a little bit further down the line, raiders. Raiders could be good, but I don't. I don't think a bit level one guys. Level one guys, I can go go there yet. So we just have to skip that. They did run away from the caravan. Okay, not too bad. It took like a little bit over a day to travel here. So still alright. But we would like to get some fights in now. Let's see, this place has an orchard. Has brewery. Militia barracks. Uh, wheat fields. And then just stuff. Here we have iron. Leather tanner. Trapper. Big farm. Uh, for like longer term things, we would like to see a place with uh, hunters, hunters cabin, because those are great ranged units. But uh, getting ahead of myself, now I want to find easy to do missions on these um, these places here. Uh, let's see a couple of missions here, which is good. They are, they have ambushed trade routes, so things are more expensive. So potentially doing a mission here could help with this. Let's see how that goes. We have some farm hands we can hire here potentially later. But these guys have beach folks as well. Okay. But right now with the eight guys we are fine. Let's see if we get some good missions here. Ooh, sell prices are amazing. Uh, you see that with uh, this shield is worth 100. The sell price is 19%, which is great. You are looking for 15 or above or maybe 16 above to sell stuff. Good way to see what the sell prices are having a shield in the inventory. I left this here by accident, but just seeing that there's but also well. We saw the trade routes, so nothing really to buy from here before those are fixed. But this place... This place does have beer. Beer and stuff, but we can survive. Survive just a little bit here. Maybe if, we, if they have good missions we will do, but we will move on to the next town to buy some stuff. Okay. Well, I remember. Let's give that to you. Okay, let's see. Brickend, this looks good. 470 to us. A Bastion of the Exiled. This is a different thing. This is a camp attack. This might be raiders. Though there might be raiders there as well. So, Bastion of the Exiled. Southeast. That was not the place we found. So it's somewhere in here. This is. Oh, well, it's different. It's exiles. It's still not the one. So it's somewhere in here. Still a one star mission, one skull mission, so we might take it. Uh, oh! This one is uh, Follow the Tracks. We like these. Uh, 240. Yeah, we'll definitely do this. 
Oh, yep. Okay. Or they say they care. Yep, similar, similar seven, seven back right now. They are in a forest, and I don't think they will run away from us, sadly. Yeah, how's our wounds? Uh, we still have the cut leg muscles, which was the worst of the kind, and we still have this one. We could camp here just a little bit. It is afternoon. Uh... I do want to attack in daylight to give our crossbow guy the best chance to hit them. But uh, if I could choose, I wouldn't fight in this forest, but it looks like we don't have a chance, so let's just get him. Okay, this is fine. It's not like the forest forest. Uh, I could back away a little bit again to get uh, shoot them from there instead. Uh, let's see what do we have here. We have a couple of couple of armors here. This guy has a spear. This time they they don't have flails, but they don't have helmets. So the sword guy, the spear guy. This is the probably the primary target. They have a decent armor as well. Let's... I think I will just back away in this... Oh, this bush actually, these, uh, these uh, block the vision as well. So... I think I will just back away right away. And I will just shoot them along the way. Yeah. Let's just back away. Back away right away. Alright, we actually shouldn't shouldn't go that much back right away, so with you I will wait. And just get you. You dare to wait. Get your fatigue back. Just because oh this is okay you can't actually go to these ones uh, in some of these bushes you can go but for some reason this is blocking movements okay it's a different thing then okay yeah I thought it's one of those where you can hide so you could hide behind it maybe or something um, let's see we will take our shots 56 percenter. Ooh, very nice shots. Very nice shot to start the fights. And just wait here, wait here. Wait, 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 wait. I think we will st step in and attack this turn. I think we will. So these guys are done with their turns, yep. So if we if we step in we step in and wait, we could get uh, get a little bit bonuses, get one hit in, but the next turn we are we are gonna get gonna get hit more. Let's see. Uh, I think it's better for us to Keep the line here. Keep the line here. Mm. 
I think because I do have shields on these guys, I will keep this... Uh, I'll keep Severin Makai with their injury a little bit out of this fight. So I will engage here. Uh, I will wait. I will step in with you. I will wait. I'm waiting because I want to get uh, bonuses for having multiple guys engaged. Let's shoot this guy. Uh, this guy might jump around, but I think I will wait here. Because they are a little bit... they have that bad defense. Uh, actually, I might just take that out because they are. They are kind of in a bad shape. Uh, so we have one guy jumping here, one guy jumping here. I think I will just continue. This guy is the dangerous one. Let's just go here. Let's keep on waiting. Let's engage on this guy. Nice start. There. Step in and let's try to get a hit hit on this guy. Nice. And now, because we are engaging this guy with two, our chances to hit are bigger. So we have that surrounded plus there in the, in the attack. And since we have a good chance of killing both of these guys, um, this guy is already kind of panicking. They are very likely to go uh, fleeing if we kill this guy. So I will go for two, uh, two headshots, use a lot of fatigue, but just try to kill this guy because they don't have a helmet. First of them missed, sadly I didn't have the fatigue to uh, uh, action points to do another one. Okay, uh, some of them are going before us, including this guy. Yeah, that's not great. Same thing with this guy. This guy might jump here, which would mean this guy is coming for me. So let's shield wall. Shield wall and wait. Good miss. Nice. We have their best attacker attacking my two shield guys, which is fantastic. And uh, let's let's try to get a kill here. I think we can step in and stab this guy from here. Uh, so I think getting this guy who's in the best condition right now. Let's see who's coming up. This guy is attacking. This guy is getting is getting turned soon, so it's better for me to try to kill them away. That's great. Oh, oh, good one missed there. So this guy hits. We took a little bit hit to the hit points, uh, but we are still holding on. So this guy already already went. Same thing with this guy. So we have nothing to worry here. Uh, this guy doesn't have any armor left, so let's try to kill him. Uh, 72% and we missed one of those, that's fine. In preparation for next turn, if we can't kill these guys, I would like to have a shield wall up. But I I will stab this guy once. Uh, we could even try to puncture them, that uses more fatigue. Let's see, let's put that up. Because they, they do have a decent armor, we haven't damaged it yet. So I will try to puncture them. <laughs> Nice, 46% hit, that's good. The Cleaver guy is hitting, hitting our shielded guys, that's good. If we can kill, let's say, this guy, then every one of them, or these two guys, then they are only engaged with my melee guys, which is great. Turn done, acts in four. Uh, we are able to step in and stab them. 
Uh, I don't think we need a shield wall here, so I will just go for the Stabberinos. Nice. Mm, if I don't kill this guy, if I do get the step, if I do get the puncture in, if I do get the puncture in, we could kill them. So I think it's worth going for. Forty-one percent missed, sadly. So that means that Severin Makai is about to get hit with the sword. Uh, no, no, this guy, uh, Mahtimogar, is going first, so they're actually not getting attacked yet. That is good, so another chance to kill this guy. Nice, very good. Very good. Stab that guy, Mahtimogar is doing a good job there. Uh, because of the... Because we are confident, they are wavering. That was 95% chance to hit with the spear. So that is, that is great. Uh, neither of these guys have helmets, so I think I will just do normal, normal flail attacks on them. Very good. Now we can continue stabbing this guy. I would like to puncture, because they are, they are already breaking. So, it's low chance, but let's try to get this armor from them. This guy needs to die. Let's see if we can. Very nice. This guy is doing all right. They are double creeping, so I will uh, just take blade safe and a shield wall. Good, they are missing. There we go. They did punch us in the head, so they stunned us. But uh, other attack went into our went into our uh, shield wall, which is good. So now we have this guy surrounded. So not only they get. Uh, Panic effect from that, but our hits are 95, 91%. So, uh, they are... They are in a bad spot. If we kill this guy, those guys will probably panic. So let's try to get a kill here. There we go. They are fleeing, so that was a really good fight from us. Really like it. I would like to get this armor, but I think they are running away before we do, unless I kill them, like, right now. So let's try to puncture them. Ooh, another one. Not quite. Uh, we don't have, sadly, sadly, to, um, fatigue to attack these guys. So I will, I will jump on. I will jump to this side with you. Just wait. This guy we can just kill. Somehow manage to miss those. Uh, let's. Jump there to catch them. So this guy's fleeing now. Now their armor was damaged a little bit, so we have a lower chance of getting it, but uh, it's fine. Let's continue surrounding this guy. And just jump there, wait. No need to do anything with you. If they manage to run away, let's go there. This guy. So this guy is dead, but we will have a couple of stabs at them. But let's round them for those bonuses. And let's try to puncture. Puncture them for those... Uh, puncture them and not damage that armor. But looks like we are not having, not having luck with that. It's not that... It's not that great of an armor, but when it's fully damaged, uh, our chances of getting it are, are super low. Uh, when you have someone surrounded and they are fleeing, you just have a free chance of stabbing them. So this is how you would get, let's say this was uh, actually higher level armor. This would be a good chance to get that armor by just uh, puncturing them through that armor. Instead of damaging the armor, just doing damage. So... Even that the armor is destroyed, just to show off the technique there, that's how we could get it. We didn't get, get any of their armors, that sword will come in handy. The bludgeons are actually pretty decent, we can try stuns, so that's good. That was a good fight, really good. Mm. This guy is offering us more money, but uh, it will not be that much, so we'll just follow our... Follow our agreement and uh, keep on going. Let's see, we have a couple of level ups, which is great. Uh, I think these guys will... 
jump into and uh, get these um, get these bludgeons, which they can use trying to stun someone. So a little bit of crowd control here. Uh, those we can sell the sword. Sword could be could be a better one. Better one, so maybe I will use that. Although it's not necessarily worth repairing. Not necessarily worth repairing, but I think I will keep it. Let's go and get our money and then we'll level up. Alright, so I was looking looking at this, but uh I'll see see if we do it. Might be it might be related to the ambush trade roads if we do it. Okay, but uh, we have our first level ups, so let's see. Uh in the beginning in the beginning when uh, when we level up here, so let's take this guy. They have uh they have stars in these three abilities and that gives us higher chance to get these uh, plus fours and plus fives but when there is no star for example here we got plus one into our melee skill the worst roll plus three without a star on melee defense is actually all right ish but we were really unlucky with all the most of the other stuff uh, the resolve is already pretty good. With 50, they could be could be decent. I think I will take that uh, take that melee defense. I will take that plus one, even that it's not great. And um, I will take that plus four on resolve there. But them and uh, just for early survival, let's take Colossus. So they will get hit points, and they uh, they are less likely to get injured. So let's start with that for most of these guys. Then we have this guy, uh, plus two on the melee, they are not that great, uh, melee defense two, they did roll well on the resolve and it's kind of low, so let's take that. I would like to take this plus four here instead of the defense, really, because we got kind of lucky with, uh, lucky with this roll. Uh, you know what, I, I think I will skip the, wait, let's cancel. Uh, the rolls, rolls remain the same, but you can cancel out and select different. Let's take that hit point plus four, and then just get... Uh, get uh, attack and defense. The resolve is kind of low, but we can raise it later if this guy survives. And uh, Colossus again. A little bit more hit points, but those in that's uh, not getting those injuries is important as well. Uh, decent roll here. Uh, defense two. They rolled well on the hit points as well, so same thing here. Except Colossus as well. Yeah, I think I will just go with that for most of these guys. Another plus one, like why? Uh, even with one star plus three, not that great. Let's get the plus three on hit points. Colossus, and last guy. Okay, one plus three on the melee at least. Okay, this guy rolled plus threes without stars. That's uh, that's a good start to them. Uh, I think I will like the plus four for the hit points, and I will go with Colossus for this guy as well. And then our ranged guy. Uh, I think overall the range attack rolls higher than the, the melee attack, but plus 4 there is good. Uh, we would like to get some defense for them in the end, but right now I think I will focus on giving them some resolve. And then one of these. Plus 4 is a good roll on hit points, I will take that for the range guy as well. Now this guy... This guy with their stu two stars there, this guy might actually survive a little bit longer, so I might take student for them to level them up faster. Um, let, me, let me see. On the other hand, if they do get hit, Colossus could be good for them, but I think uh, since they are in the background, for them I will pick student. So what student does, it gives them additional experience points from battle, and then in, in the end, if you make it to level 11, which is the maximum as far as perks go, after that you can level up and continue ro rolling like plus ones. Um, but they will replace the student with any perk on the last level. But until that, it's like experience gain. So let's take that for the 
because I think Sixy here might be the only one who's like even remotely keeper from these stats. But uh, let's, uh, let's continue with that. Okay, I don't think we, I don't think we had a mission here. Let's see what this is. It's Caravan to Valheim. We're probably not gonna get it two skulls too hard for us. Uh, Valheim. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a like long route as well. Yeah, not great. Um, I will say decline to this, so it will be replaced. This one. This one I, I, I am interested in, but it might have... It's a camp, there might be some there with slings or even bows. There might be raiders. So... I might come back for this, but we'll keep it there. Let's take one more look here. Uh, nothing new, I think. Yeah, no. Food, yes. Uh, let's just get the cheapest one. Well, actually, mm, we can make it to the next place. Yeah, we can make it to the next place here to buy the food. Because this place still has to... Just to let, save a couple of credits. It's ambush trade routes. Let's get the food from here, which was a village as well. Yeah. I have a trapper as well, so they will have uh they will have furs. This place. Yeah, let's go there. Uh, moving at night, this is potential ambush here. But if we get do get into a fight, I actually don't mind that. Uh, which does remind me. It's more uh Let's make a hard save. Hard save before we uh, move on. So what I meant with ambush is that when you when you go at night, like something can jump jump on you from the forest, then uh, you don't see them coming that fast. <laughs> now that I've had a break already for one and a half hours from XCOM, <laughs> will I play Longborn next week? Not next week, no. Okay, we have a couple of missions here, which is good. Uh, let's check what those are. Uh, another follow the tracks. This is very good start for us. 290. Yep. Let's do it. Do it. They shouldn't be that far, so we can still come back and buy the food. Still only seven ducks, so these are exactly the kind of fights we want to look, but these guys are running. It's annoying. So us coming. That's a waste of time. Waste of time. Running running after them like this. Okay, we have some high ground. Potential high ground. Uh, we could get our archer in there. Just engage them at there. Uh, what is the what is the terrain like? Let me hide the trees. Yeah, there's a bit in there. That's not great. I think I, I think I will fight here. Although this guy would have bonus on whoever is standing here. Someone can hide in this bush, which is not great. So if we have someone here, someone can step in that. And uh, actually, when we are next to it, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, let's take... They will probably like to come in here. So let's get this... Let's get these positions here. We have someone, some guys hiding in those bushes here, but they uh, doesn't doesn't really matter. This guy came forward, so I will take my shot at them. Sixty-three percent miss this time. Let's go and take this high ground. Wait. 
there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this uh, this game, we have done really well so far, like no one dying, but we might have lost one guy. But just taking, taking it very carefully early on, using shields and uh, picking your fights, uh, it's good. Because kind of uh, basically, especially once someone has leveled up even once, uh, you have already invested quite a lot of time in that guy. And uh, especially money early on, when we hire someone for like 200, 200 and um, they lose right away um, it's uh, it gets costly but other than that you can easily just keep on going but as the days go by the game's enemies and kind of the overall danger level of the world there was some official term for that it gets harder so you kind of if you don't stay on that curve things will get harder and harder uh, for you to do well towards the end. So then, uh, that's why I will try to keep uh, as many pros alive before we make a decent money and then we start looking for the good pros that we really want to keep alive and level up and just try to get fights in. Fights in as we go. I could actually... Yeah, I will take that high ground. It will it will give us a bonus bonus to shoot next turn. So let's do that. Uh, let's pass with you. They will be able to step in, step in and attack next turn. So I think I will spear wall with this guy. This guy, and they will only get one attack in, and we will get two. Yeah, that guy just wasted some fatigue in shield walling. That's fine for me. I will not step in, because they would get high ground on one of my guys. So, uh, we will... This guy was the fastest one, so let's shield wall this turn, this turn already. Same thing with you, and wait. Uh, this guy is still to act. I will wait and see what they do. Uh, we could do repost for Terror if they decide to attack this guy. Oh, wait. This guy, this guy is the one who uh, he's really easy to hit. Mm, if they step in and slap... Might take a step back and uh, step in next turn just to avoid getting hit because they are they are the easiest to hit at the moment. So let's do that. In here they will have harder time reaching me. Actually, this guy will jump in. So let's wait there. Uh, we will do spear wall with you. <laughs> Gonna kind of try to drive them to the edges. Okay, that's good. Oh, that that was dumb of that guy. <laughs> they were jumping in, even that they are, they were not gonna get attack in this turn. I don't know why that guy jumped in. I'm happy they did. Um. Okay, I will get these free hits in, and I do have a chance to stun here. It will use a lot of fatigue, but if I do, this guy would skip a turn. Uh, on the other hand, they do have a. Mm. I think I will actually save my save my fatigue here. Uh, this guy is about to step in. Could do a spear wall here in the end to keep the keep the flank safe, but I think I will just shield wall and save the fatigue. Okay, since these guys attacked right the way they did, I will step in. I will step in and I will get um, 
Let me try to get this. This guy has a... That's actually... Is that a level 2 dagger? I just realized. These guys have really good daggers. Uh, we want to kill this guy fast. Uh, I will go for the headshot and then a normal one. Sadly. Um, should I do another one? What's the odds? 67 and I missed. a 100% chance to hit the head. We'll go for another one. Oh, come on. Oh, 267s and I missed. Damn, unlucky. Yeah, this guy skipped a turn. And that's interesting. I could actually go here. Here and engage them in the back end, but I think I will wait. Yeah, they waited because I had a shield wall and spear wall up, so they are waiting for me to decide what I do with that. This is a kind of death man, death man spot if you go there, so we are we're gonna avoid that. We'll just wait with you. Okay, that gives us gives us a chance to shoot this guy before they engage with us. That is good because they wait that they now have a less chance to hit us. Okay, good two misses, pretty nice. Oh, we went a little bit panicked there with Pro HM. Um, this guy had 56% chance to hit and he missed both shots. So let's not complain too much about our, our chances. Um, this guy can step in, so I will shield wall and wait. This guy... We still have a 71% chance to hit them, which is good, so I think I will just stab them twice. Very nice dodges. Yet, okay, we, we dodged four times 56% from these guys with Severin Makai, so they are lucky. They are lucky at the moment. We got a little bit hit here, so I think I will like Topofobo to have their shield wall up. They have a decent fatigue. Uh, let's try to... Actually, since these guys have helmets, let's just uh, let's just hit them normally without trying to stun them. Um, I think I will... If we can keep these guys out of this fight longer, I will spear wall again. Nice, no hits in yet. And now this guy really needs to die, come on, 67. Yes. They dropped the good, red, good dagger there, so that's our first really decent loot. Love it. And now they did get 45% in. That's fine. Okay. Just, uh, because of the way they attacked, I will get this high ground here. Basically preventing this guy to engage us in any other way than here. Uh, no, actually they... No. They can't, they can't jump in. So let's just guard this flank here, keeping this guy potentially out of the fight. Spear wall still working. Nice. Ooh, that went well. Uh, they were 89% chances to hit this guy, so that was really good. That guy basically suicided there into our, uh, into our spear wall. That does give this chance, this guy probably a chance to jump in. Uh, because those guys are almost dead. I could jump in here, or maybe even here. Jump on... Actually, no, let's just wait here. Let's, let's just keep on, let's keep on playing safe. Or smart, I should say. Right, you can of course do that instead of fighting in here, but that's fine. We still have our shield guy against this guy, so that's good. Um... If I go here, uh, these guys would have a chance to hit me. But I think if I go here, this guy might get a panic check or morale check because they are surrounded. And then if I hit that guy next turn, we would be in a decent spot. Let's put the shield wall up. That's our last fatigue, so we'll just wait. Don't kill him. Oof. Okay. Okay, we need a little bit of luck. We need to kill this guy in eight turns, or Severin Makai might might get hit. 
Um, let's see. I think I will put the shield wall up against these guys. Let's tap that guy. That's good. Uh, okay, because I moved there, I need to step in to shoot. Or in here. But if we kill this guy... Or this guy. It might make this guy panic. So, yeah. Let's go in and try to kill this one. There we go. That guy is breaking. Wavering, wavering. That is decent. Let's jump in and completely surround this guy. Potentially making them panic. And they just went fleeing. That's great. So... We can actually jump here to surround this guy as well, causing them to have a morale check. At least gives us bonuses. Good. Some hits in there it went through our clothes armor, so Mr. Tommaso is in a little bit of danger. And this guy is not getting the mora morale checks as we are beating the other guys. This guy is breaking. If we get a hit in, they are very likely to break. Or die. This guy's turn is done. Let's hit him. Let's try to kill... No, actually, that guy's fleeing. Okay, I don't want to engage this guy from down below. Um... Because we already have this guy surrounded, I would like to jump in and support here, but we can't easily do it. Uh, maybe it's better to just kill, even that they are already fleeing. Because that will cause the morale check. Yeah, that was a good decision. Jump in to finish them if they try to run. Let's go... Let's go here to jump in and hit next turn, surrounding that guy. Uh, this guy is already fleeing. Severin Makai is wounded. So let's continue hitting this guy. Poss possibly causing that guy to... That guy to morale check. Uh, Mr. Tabasso doesn't have the fatigue to shield wall, which is not great, as this guy will in just a moment hit them. So we might lose Mr. Tomasso here. Yeah, very, very likely actually. Yeah, I can't get hit can't can't get in and hit them. So I will go here surround this guy. Do have a chance to shoot them once. But we missed. Okay, don't die, Severin. Sorry, Mr. Tomaso. Okay, we lost the armor, but we survived that turn, so still no one dying. That's good. This guy has a shield wall up, which we don't like, so we will wait. Uh, now we can step in. And starts hitting them a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let's see this guy. We could try to stun them through that shield wall. But let's uh, let's play it safe and just surround them. And next turn, actually, we we need to continue to surround this guy a little bit. So. Let's do like that and uh, hit them when they flee. Nice 5% chances to hit through the shield wall, so that was not happening. Uh, this guy is about to flee, so let's just hit them when they run away. There we go. And then this guy didn't have the fatigue anymore to uh, shield wall, so easier to hit. Uh, did we have... Did have the buckler, so let's take that in. I actually should have had that. Should have had that on them already. Let's take it there. Let's see what happens. Still no fatigue to boost this one. We will be able to shoot this guy once, but 
then after that Mr. Tommaso is in very likely gonna die. Unless they somehow break their morale a bit. Yeah, we are one turn late. This might be our first loss unless uh, Zixi there saves them. With a uh, brilliant shot on the crossbow. <laughs> yes! Zixi! Mr. Tommaso, you own Zixi appear next time in town. That was, uh, that was a lifesaver. Lifesaver shot right there. Let's try to stun this guy. Uh, we hit him, but didn't stun them. That was uh, that was amazing. That was amazing. Continue this round, this guy. <coughs> Trying to stun them. Now they are stunned. Very good. Step away now. They are fleeing, and another great fight. Really good. That went really well again. Just taking it safe against seven guys. Uh, this is good. Dagger is good. Spear is great. Dagger is amazing. Two shields. This was the, our best fight loot-wise. Really happy with that. And of course, not losing anyone there. And I don't think even even that we got a lot of damage, there was no injuries there. Um, wait, so why do you have a... Uh, to get a second injury. Oh, Severin got another injury. Uh, Sissy got a little bit of bruised leg, nothing bad. And Mr. Tommaso. Okay, they got crushed windpipe, but nothing permanent, so they are they are doing all right. Fantastic. Top of Fopo. Rolling two and two. Not great rolls, but it is what it is. I will take the plus. I will take the plus two on hit points. Hit points... Me... Let's get the plus four resolve. It'll help them. Let's get the Colossus to make them survive a little bit more. So I think everyone is now level two. Yep. Uh, Pro HM is not, but... Uh, I, think, uh, I think a decent start. Like nothing... Nothing amazing. Nothing amazing, but uh, but like decent. Free fights, free fights, free days. No casualties. Uh, we lost uh, two hundred and ninety crowns, which is great. Uh, David, obituary. So no one has died. That's amazing. I think this is a good place to take the first break. That was two hours. I took it really slow and slow and carefully there, just trying to get the feel of the fights. Three easy fights. Well, easy, easy, just the way I liked them in the beginning. But uh, those went really well. So let's um, save there and uh, have our first break. Our first break here, and uh, I will see you see you guys in just a moment for those of you watching live. And uh, if you did watch this on a later date on YouTube, thanks for watching in there, and you will find the continuation in the next part. If I if it, if I decided to cut this video here, if not, just continue watching. So uh, anyway, see you guys in uh, just a moment.